Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's me, Dr. V. Jayakumar. I make lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. In this lecture video, we shall be discussing the basics of dynamic balancing, conditions of dynamic balancing, and finally, the differences between static and dynamic balancing are given. Before we proceed, please press the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified every time when I post a new video on this channel. So let's get started. As discussed already, balancing of masses problems can be broadly classified under two categories, namely balancing of rotating masses and balancing of reciprocating masses. Under balancing of rotating masses, we have balancing of single rotating mass and balancing of several masses rotating the same plane. These two types are coming under static balancing, which we have already covered. In this video, we will be discussing about balancing of several rotating masses in different planes, which is nothing but the dynamic balancing. What is static balancing? Static balancing is also known as single plane balancing. A system of rotating masses is said to be in static balance if the combined mass center of the system lies on the axis of rotation. Take these practical examples, namely axial pan, aircraft propeller, helicopter rotor assembly, rotors in windmills, in all these applications, we have several rotating masses rotating in the same plane. Let us present the condition for static balancing. Consider several masses revolving in the same plane. In such static balancing scenario, the net dynamic force acting on the shaft must be equal to zero. What it means? The resultant centrifugal force of the system must be equal to zero. In other words, the force falling and if you draw, it should be closed. Then we can claim that the system is in static balance. Now let us discuss about dynamic balancing. What is it? Dynamic balancing is also known as multiplane balancing. We will understand that with few practical applications. Let us take the balancing of complicated crankshaft then balancing of a large slip ring rotor then we have balancing of paper roll which is nothing but a longer shaft then balancing of rotor and impeller assembly and we have very interesting balancing of gas turbine blades in all these practical applications, you might have observed that we have several rotating masses revolving in different planes. Let us consider four revolving masses, namely A, B, C and D revolving in different planes as shown in the diagram. When several masses rotate in different planes, in addition to the out-of-balance centrifugal forces, the couple also produced. A system of rotating masses is in dynamic balance when there does not exist any resultant centrifugal forces as well as resultant couple. We will discuss now the conditions for dynamic balancing. Let me run the four rotor system shown by using a motor. If all the four masses run smoothly without any vibration, that means they are in dynamic balance. On the contrary, if the rotors wobble, violently rotate, if it produces vibration and noise, then the system is out of balance. We need to balance it. 
in order to have the complete balance of several rotating masses in different planes the following two conditions must be satisfied the first condition is the resultant centrifugal force must be equal to zero or in other words the force polygon must be closed then we have condition number two as well we need to have the resultant couple about the reference plane should be equal to zero or in other words the couple polygon must be equal to zero using these two conditions we can do the balancing of those rotating masses finally the difference between static balancing and dynamic balancing or summarized and or presented in the form of table for your ready reference that's it hope you found it very useful if so support the work by liking this video sharing it to your friends subscribing the channel and hitting the notification bell icon thanks for watching take care bye